Well, Monday, but we are launching Choose to Bloom. So welcome in, welcome in. And for April, what's amazing is that we are going to share my mom, Gloria's one-year QB, QB journey. Uh, so thank you for joining us tonight. Um, it's going to be a 45-minute class, so we are definitely going to do our workout. And then in between our little three sessions of weights, we're going to share some of Gloria's fitness tips, some diet tips that she's learned, and as always, get your feet on your pedals as we welcome you in. Hi Eileen, hi Rob, hi Patricia. Hey Nicole, welcome in, and Gail. So again, make sure you've got lots of room, make sure you've got your weights ready, guys. So we are still gonna do a full workout. Hey, Benita. Good afternoon, Joe and Gail and Margo. All right, as we welcome everybody in, hey, honey, happy Monday. Muscle Monday was welcoming everybody, hi, Jen, to our Choose to Bloom launch. And again, it is my mom, hey, Thomas, one year anniversary since she started doing the QB classes. Hey, Jennifer, hi, Judy. Welcome in, welcome in as we get our bodies warmed up. Let's do two more breaths, inhale up, one more like that, very nice, hey Cookie, hey honey, hey Aretta, give me a bicep curl. So we're going to see just how well we can talk and QB tonight <laughs> as we give you these extra fitness and diet tips and talk about my mom's QB journey. Hey Casey, hey Sharon, welcome in. Hey Kathy, so excited to share with you. Hey Deanna, welcome, welcome. Hey Patricia, yeah we got a good group tonight. Hey Sherry, let's get that body warm, let's get that body warm. Hey Jude, welcome in. Ellen, all right, bicep, shoulder combo. Here we go. Hi, Janelle. Danielle, welcome, welcome. LeBang, welcome in. Patricia. So again, tonight is a special night. We are launching the April Choose to Bloom. Hey, Angela. Hi, Mary. Hey, Linda. And uh, for April, we've decided because QB has been doing classes for one year, and my mom has been doing QB classes for one year. And my mom, Gloria, has gotten fantastic results. Hey, Odd. Hey, Margaret. All right, let's do two more. Happy one year. Yes. All right, keep those arms up and pull and reach and pull. So one year ago, <laughs> my mom came back from Florida early. So my mom does, uh, she's a snowbird, and she spends six months in Florida, and six months, she's my neighbor. <laughs> she lives with me. And mom, for many years, she's active. Uh, I'm all, we're always encouraging her to get those 10,000 steps a day. Uh, always, uh, I'm sharing my recipes to make things a little bit healthier. Uh, but when mom came back from Florida, let's alternate now, okay. reach and reach. For many years, my mom had very achy knees, right? Her knees were, her knees were always bothering her. Uh, when we'd go for walks, it wasn't uncommon for you to stop, right? Slow down. And then I started taking things really seriously, Deb and Nancy, uh, when my mom said she had a hard time getting up off a chair from a seated position. And uh, my mom, Gloria here, was starting to have shoulder issues, pain in the shoulders, pain in the knee. Pain in the neck. Pain, she was being a, she said it, not me, a pain in the neck. And reach across the chest, guys. No, never a pain in the neck. Always happy to have mom around. Um, but yeah, just, you know, definitely feeling like she was getting older, a body was getting weaker. 
and um, always carrying around a few extra pounds, right? That yeah. you really. So along comes COVID, and guess who mom gets stuck with? <laughs> mom is now living with a trainer for a year. <laughs> Uh, so mom decided to join our QB classes in four and three. All right, guys, let's pedal. And in less than a year, about six months, mom lost 20 pounds. Uh, mom's maintained those 20 pounds. And Kim and Rosa and all of you, we want to share with you uh, just the little tweaks mom made to her diet, um, her exercise. Uh, keep those feet pedaling, guys. Increase that tension if you need to. And have those waist close by, Deanna, because those hearts are going to start sweating. <laughs> hey, Diane. Because we, I always prioritize a workout. Um, and that's one of the rules. Uh, my mom prioritizes her workouts. Um, I get to have my, my vaccine tomorrow. And... I prioritized my workout before my vaccine. So I chose a time to get that needle after I do my regular workout. So that's important, guys. That's a fit tip that you make your exercise session, your 30 minutes, a priority. Just as important, if not more important, than your doctor's appointment, your dentist appointment, your nail appointment, your hair appointment. <laughs> Your health comes first. You are number one. Um, so since my mom's done QB for a year, no more knee pain, 20 pounds down, no more shoulder pain, uh, looks younger, better posture. Uh, her legs are definitely stronger. Uh, when mom started a year ago, she wasn't able to do all those chair squats. And it's because of mom that we have those chair squats in every single workout. Uh, so you can thank mom for that. Uh, so our first tip before we pick up the weights that I'm going to share with you, or another tip, is with regard to food. Know what foods are sabotaging to your diet. So if ice cream, you cannot say no to ice cream. Promise yourself that you don't bring the ice cream tub home. That if you want that ice cream, you have to leave the house. And if you have to walk there or bike there. But if you bring sabotaging foods in your home, you're going to sabotage your diet. All right, guys, let's pick up the weights round one. So this is a 45-minute class tonight. We're going to exercise for those 30 minutes. Hey, Rita. And then we're going to talk more about mom's diet and exercise plan. Hey, Shelly. All righty, bicep curls. Let's go eight times. Seven, six. So mom introduced weight training. First time in her life on a regular basis. So that helped get results. Hammer curl. So why weight train, guys? Because weight training revs up your metabolism. It makes you stronger. It makes you fitter. The more muscle you have, the strong you are. Welcome in, Robin. Welcome in, Patricia. Let's do four more of these curls. Three more. Two. Now let's do an alternating curl. One side and then the other. So adding weights to mom's regular regime. And again, she does weight training once a week and resistance band training once a week. Not only did it help her lose the 20 pounds, but she's a better golfer than her husband. <laughs> oh yeah. Being stronger, being 20 pounds lighter, mom hits the ball further with more accuracy. So for all you golfers out there, Let's do two more of these. All right, bicep shoulder. Hey, Andrea. Same side again, bicep shoulder. Nice. Again, curl and reach, Kathy. Go, go. All right, let's switch sides. Hi, Deb. Reach it. So tonight we are combining our workout 
with giving you health and fitness tips that help my mom, Gloria, lose those 20 pounds. Now alternate one side and then the other side. Go Angela, go Rob, go Thomas, go Kim, go Jen. Nice. One more each side. We got this. Go, go, go. All right, both arms, guys. Bicep shoulders and stay with your shoulders for eight, seven, six, five. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, guys, triceps drop back. In eight, in seven, we're going to rest. Six more, come on. Big reach. Four. Go, Reva. Go, Kim. All right, guys, keep those feet pedaling. Increase the speed. Let's focus on those legs. Get them moving, getting moving. So in my mom's year, not only did she add two strength training classes with her QB, as you guys uh, verified, mom was with me every Monday and Wednesday, almost, 99.9% .9 of them, um, for oh, one full year. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so most of them, my fault if she didn't attend. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the classes. Uh, and adding weights, guys, makes a huge difference to how your body metabolizes food and fat. And again, how your body feels. The aches and pains go away. We stay stronger. All right, guys, tricep work, bending over, elbows in and extend. Reach and bend, and reach and bend, and squeeze and bend a little harder. Reach it back. Very nice. Reach it back. Let's do four more. Four. Three. So good, guys. Two. And let's sweep it for eight. Excellent. I like it. I like it. Let's do four more. Come on, Lee. Come on, Laura. Two more. All right. Now we're going to row. Pull high. Press that chest out. Yeah, you can use water bottles for weights. You can do this whole class with nothing in your hand and just get movement. But water bottles are great. They're about a pound each or a little more than a pound. Awesome suggestion. All right, guys, sprint. 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, we're going to do Gloria's signature move, the chair squats. And again, after a year of doing chair squats, mom is not only lighter and leaner, but the knee pain is gone. The shoulder pain is gone because she's not pushing with her hands to get out of the chair every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in 15 seconds, let me know. Stride hard or join mom and I, 16 reps. Uh, two sets of eight of our chair squats. All right, Bernie is bring on the squats. <laughs> Team Bernie, for sure. All right, guys, wide stance. And here we go, standing up. Go, Benita. And the great thing about squatting is they help with our balance. They help with adding more muscle density to our thighs, our glutes, our legs. And it gives my mom confidence. She can sit in any chair and know she'll be able to get out of that chair. Right? How many more, Mom? Four more. Three. We got this. One more. Excellent, guys. You can put your weight down. Your choice if you want to cycle forward or back for round two. So let's get those strides up as we share more of mom's fitness tips and what not only helped her lose her 20 pounds, but also maintain it. Oh, you gotta test yourself. I'm always saying, are you hungry or are you bored? And a way to test yourself is to ask yourself, am I hungry enough to, to eat an egg or an apple? So if you're not hungry enough to 
to eat an egg or an apple, you're probably not hungry, you're probably bored and looking for something to do. Uh, so give yourself a test uh, because it's very, very easy to overeat. 10,000 steps a day are recommended. Uh, well, on the QB, again, it's two strides for one, so that would be 20,000 QB steps for 10,000 steps a day. Uh, but mom does a combination of both. She does count her QB strides in her 10,000 days. And in that year, I don't think you missed a day. Okay. One day? <laughs> it rains. <laughs> So 10,000 steps is it now. How do you get those 10,000 steps? Guys, we have those smart watches, those Fitbits, our phones. Tracking your steps is a great step in the right direction for weight loss and better health. Another hint with regards to food is a rule I share with my mom, is try to put protein in your mouth first. Protein. So that means eggs, fish, nuts, um, what else is protein, uh, beans, eggs, did I say eggs? Uh, so when you go to have your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner, eat your protein first. And they're actually recommending this for diabetics as well. Because when your insulin gets woken up, it will start to have your body store fat. So you're either in a fat burning zone or you're in, or sorry, your, your body's either storing fat or you're gaining fat. Two things are happening. So right now, all of us, as we do our QB, we are burning off the fat. Uh, so again, when you eat protein, why we suggest protein first is because it's very challenging uh, for protein to turn into fat and as we get older our muscles need that protein guys to stay strong because as we age we lose muscle density from the age of 25 on if we don't replace it we lose muscle mass and it's our muscles that keep us young and keep us strong Michael you've lost 50 pounds Whoa. amazing so good so good so protein in your mouth first, and then our next tip before we start round two of our weights is move after meals. Your movement after you eat, it doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be heavy, it doesn't have to be sweaty, but they now know that when you move your body on your QB or you go for a walk after you eat, it lowers your blood sugar levels. So when your blood sugar levels are low, less chance of gaining weight. All right, guys, round two. Grab those weights. Again, your choice if you want to join me. Yes, yogurt. Good source of protein, definitely. Uh, and mom does the yogurt. Uh, and again, make it plain Greek or Skyer yogurt. And then you control the sugars. Do not buy uh, pre-sweetened yogurt or yogurt with all that fruit, you can add that fruit. All right guys, let's get serious. Back to pumping up those muscles. Bicep curls, alternate it. One side and then the other. Yeah, we're gonna get high strides tonight, guys. Our numbers are gonna be great uh, because it's a little bit of a longer class. So palms up and squeeze. Squeeze a little harder. So let's try to move our bodies after we eat. And that is so easy. When we have a QB to move our body after each meal. So we can do these nice easy movements anytime on your QB. And then you're ready for the daily workout. And it's okay to work out every day on your QB. All right, guys, hammer curl. Squeeze it. Yeah, frozen yogurt, great too. And again, when you go shopping, here's another fit tip, and you look at the label, the first thing you want to look at is the amount of sugar. Sugar 
is what's stopping so many of us from getting our results. All right, guys, one side, bicep, shoulder. Here we go. And switch it out. Yes. Go, go, go. Curl, reach. Very nice. Curl, reach. Excellent. Push it. Very nice. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the music tonight, Rachel. Two more. One more. All right, guys, both arms, bicep, shoulder. Reach and down. Three more like that. Reach. Up. Two more. Yeah, you get stronger as you participate more. Now keep those arms up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You exercise daily, Carolyn, that's awesome. All right, guys, just those legs. Get those strides up. Now, since this is Muscle Monday, let's talk about the amount of weight we need to move to get results. And for many, many, many years, they told us it's got to be heavy. It's got to be hard. It's got to have low, low reps, heavy weight. Well, let me tell you, the latest research says no. High reps, lightweight work, the bottom line is it's got to be challenging. So when you're doing our workouts with us, it feels like a workout, right? That means you're breathing a little bit heavier. You're getting a little bit more sweaty. All right, bending over, guys. And let's do those triceps and kick. Reach and bend. Yes, reach and bend. Hitting the back of the arms. Very nice. Let's do four more. And three, two. Now straight arm sweep. We got eight. Seven, six, five, very good. Four more, three more. All right, guys, let's squeeze those shoulder blades, work your back, pull it hard, squeeze it harder. Go, go, go. Let's do four more. Awesome. Two more. And spread. Go, go, go. You know it's coming up. Mom's favorite. Squats. The squats. <laughs> the chair squats. We love them, but we kind of hate them. And it's because they work. They are effective. The squat is the king of exercise, guys. Gets us up off our chair. And again, it allows us to do all our regular activities in life better. All right. Go, go, go. In 15 seconds. And at any time, if you're not feeling it's like a workout, increase that resistance, guys. Turn that dial, turn that dial. All right, nice wide leg position. Hit it. Stand up and sit down. Now your choice, keep on pedaling if you want to. Maybe increase the resistance as we do the chair squats. You can put the weights down. Linda is on fire. Awesome, go Gail. Jacqueline too. Go BB. Go Cookie. Nice. How many more, Mom? This is number four. So that means three more? Yeah. Woohoo! Two. And one. Awesome, guys. Weight down. Feet back on your cutie as we continue with our fit tips. So that. Uh, with the weights, it's got to be challenging. And remember, with QB, you've got that eight levels of resistance. And that'll make you get warm. That'll get those legs activated, those big muscles. And Deanna, I'm, li I'm liking the sweat marks now on your emojis. <laughs> yeah, we are toasty warm as well. Okay, another question we get. Oh, and we were talking about sugar. So please, when you look at labels on the food, You'll see the number of grams of sugar 
I want you to remember this. Every gram of sugar, for four grams of sugar, it equals one sugar cube. So while we exercise on the QB, I want you to think about cubing your food. So let's just remember that. I want you to cube your food. So when you look at that label, when you look at a traditional yogurt that may have 20 grams of sugar, 20 divided by four is five. So that means in one single serving of many yogurt containers, there is five cubes of sugar. Do you want to be eating five cubes of sugar? I know that visual for me and mom, we're like, what? We do not want to be eating five cubes of sugar. So for every four grams of sugar you see on a package, it equals one cube. And there's a lot, you're gonna have to really work that cubey hard to burn off that cube of sugar. And plus, sugar, it's not only about the weight, guys. They are calling sugar diabetes three. It is not great for our body. It's not great for our health. And for those of you that struggle with your weight, sugar is very, very addictive. It will call you back and back again. So if you're having issues with your weights, I am 99% sure there may be is because of sugar. Uh, it's very tasty. Uh, it, it's hard to get satisfied with foods that have sugar and uh, things like cereal and rice and cookies and crackers. So those are what may be sabotaging your diet. And again, mom, that's what she watches now. She watches her sugars and she watches her grains as well. Because things like bread and rice and pasta and cereal react the same way as sugar. Think about those french fries or the chips. You can't just have one chip. <laughs> yes. You count your carbs. Yes. And I want to stress why I say grains instead of carbs is because your fruit and vegetables are your friends. And they are carbs. So when you say low carb, that can be confusing to people. I want you to eat tons of vegetables. I want you to eat your fruit. I want you to eat your protein. I want you to stay away from sugar and grains. All right, guys. Those fit tips, those fit tips, fake sugar, Stevia and monk fruit are your best choices as sugar replacements. Stevia, I've actually grown my own stevia plant and monk fruit. So yeah, water, water, water. Do another fit tip. I tell my mom, don't drink your calories. Flavor your water. Flavor your water. Do not drink your calories, especially after a workout. We work so hard. Let's not drink those calories back in one drink. All right, guys, round three. Here we go. Your choice, forward or back. And again, I want to remind you, we get a full 45 minutes tonight. So after this third round, uh, we had over 200 questions sent to us uh, by you, and I'm going to try and answer a lot of them. All right, guys, round three. Let's start with an alternating curl. Here we go, one side, and then the other side. So all these little fit tips is what helped my mom at eight, well she started at 82, now she's 83, lose those 20 pounds and maintain those 20 pounds. So 10,000 steps a day, adding strength training with our QB, our weight training, our resistance bands, watching her sugar, watching her grains, got her fitter, stronger, and less body aches. All right, guys, hammer curl. Nice. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm so excited to get on to my next fit bit, I'm next fit tip. But yeah, cueing your food, guys. Cube your food, and it's going to be easy to remember because we are QB fans. 
Look at your sugar content on your label. Turn it into a cube. And then make that big decision. Do you want all that sugar in your body? All righty. One side bicep shoulder. And stay on that side for three more. Nice. Two more. Yes, Karen, it adds years to my mom's life. Other side, other side. I want to keep my mom around as long as possible. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but I want her living well. We don't just want to live long. We want to live well. Other side, here we go. We want to live well as young as possible. Switch it. Nice. And switch it. Last one. All right, we're bringing up those arms for those shoulders. Go, guys. Reach it. Reach it. Push it. Push it. Four. Three. Two. Now triceps going back. Reach. Reach. You know what? With Fitbit, it counts your activity. And all activity is good. Mom has her Fitbit on her ankle right now. And again, if you have the uh, other QB models that track them, and bring it down. Pick it up, pick it up. Go Judy, go Dawn, go Luana, go Danielle. We're gonna finish off this cholesterol and then talk a little bit more about Gloria's journey. All right, bending over. Hit those triceps, guys. Reach and bend, and reach and bend. Squeeze and bend. A little harder, a little longer. Go, go, go. Four, three, two. Here comes that straight arm. Sweep it. Yeah, that's great, Cookie. Yes, we want those steps in. Go, Lisa. Go, Beth. Two more. Go, Patricia. And let's row. Squeeze it. A little higher. A little harder. Try to kiss those elbows. Behind your back. Wrap and squeeze. Four. Three. Two. And cycle hard. And do not underestimate the power of your QB as a great workout tool. You can get great results. And I know many of you have shared your QB story, your successes, how your body feels stronger, less aches and pains in your joints. And like my mom, even weight loss can happen with your QB. All right, guys, last set of chair squats or keep on striding. Here we go, standing up and down. And with these wide chair squats, you'll notice I always have you in that wide position. That really firms up the inner thighs as well. If you happen to go back and watch mom on our early QB videos, you'll notice how her knees used to fall in towards the center. But now, mom's legs are much stronger. Again, the knee pain is gone. One more, mom? That was it. <laughs> All right, mom works to fatigue. Excellent, guys. All right, turn up the dial if you want. As we continue on, with answering your fit tips and sharing what my mom did to help with her 20 pound weight loss that helped removing the aches and pains in her knees and her shoulders. Sorry Thomas, I'm just gonna read. Don't be fooled by sugar free. Yes, Thomas, great point. Sugar alcohol can be very upsetting to people's tummies. The best thing is, guys, we have to be a little proactive in uh, just picking, making better food choices and being in control of adding sweet 
by adding fruit. Uh, again, there's the monk fruit and the stevia if you want to add those sweeteners. But your sugar and your grains do not satisfy. If you're wondering, why am I hungry all the time? Those foods are not satisfying. Um, so, after we do a workout, again, always ask yourself, am I hungry? Am I hungry enough for an egg or an apple? We don't necessarily have to refuel. We wake up every single day, all of us, with enough stored glycogen to run 20 miles. Yes, so we have a lot of stored energy. So again, you, one big rule I told my mom, do not eat if you're not hungry. Only eat when you're hungry, especially if your goal is weight loss. So, I'm also a big fan of rather than portion control, because if we have weight issues, often we are not good with portion control. That means when we have a cookie, we hear the cookie bag saying, come get me. When we have a chip, the bag's got to be done. So if portion control is not your thing, and I find with most of my clients, again, I've been a trainer now for 30 years, those of us that um, suffer or don't achieve the weight loss goals we want to, it's better to find a substitution. So tonight, I brought a substitution. Oh, look at these. These are my chocolate chip cookies that I now have my mom, actually they're chocolate peanut butter cookies that are made with kidney beans. And I'm gonna post the recipe after class. So there's kidney beans, no sugar peanut butter in here. Uh, and that's basically it's um, baking soda, baking powder. Again, I will post the recipe. So we now live an amazing time because there is substitutes for everything. For instance, I also introduced my mom to cauliflower rice. Have you guys seen cauliflower rice? Substituting that saves you a ton of calories. And again, it reacts better on your body. So rather than, pour, if you're not good at portion control, and guess what? I'm not good at portion control. Mom? No. Mom's not good at portion control. So we look for those nice substitutions. So cauliflower rice is a nice substitution for rice. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Uh, so look for substitution. Now, not only did my mom lose weight, but my husband Rob is celebrating his second year of his 50 pound weight loss. And my husband's number one, he says the number one thing that helped him lose weight Oh, because did I not tell you I was married to Willy Wonka? <laughs> that was my pet name for my husband, Willy Wonka. My husband had, had treats every single day. He substituted his sugary treats for homemade popcorn. That was the biggest thing he did. And he lost 50 pounds. Getting rid of the sugary treats, his substitution was popcorn. So let me know what your thing is, what you can't say no to. Um, yogan fruits, remember at the mall when we used to be able to go to the malls? I love yogan fruits. Now I use high protein yogurt, blueberries, uh, frozen blueberries, mix it up, throw in a bit of stevia, and I am back at the mall, <laughs> saving money because I can't shop at home, eating my yogan fruits. So guys, so many ways to substitute. All right, so I'm now gonna go to your questions because again, uh, we had over 200 QB questions brought to us. Yours was pretzels, yeah. So again, um, uh, another trick that I do is I always keep almonds in my car so that when I get home, I'm not starving I'm making the wrong choice or that makes me want to stop at a donut store and make the wrong choice. So plan, especially if you want weight loss, 
We've got a plan, guys. Uh, we don't want to bring those sabotaging foods in our home. If you want a treat, make yourself go out for the treat. Don't bring home the tub of ice cream. Make yourself go out and walk. Get an ice cream, a little cone, and come back home. Okay, so someone asked, how many minutes should they cue me a day? A cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> you know how I get my cheesecake fix? You know those packages of goat cheese that come with um, cranberries and blueberries? Slice that up. Yeah. It tastes like a mini cheesecake. Yeah. Yes. So good. All right. Um, so how long should you QB? I recommend a daily QB workout. And then I recommend you put that QB where you sit most. Whenever you are sitting, your feet can be moving. Uh, and again, it doesn't have to be intense. I know in this, these workouts, we push you, but when you're just watching television, light action is so good. Ketchup, so much sugar in ketchup, guys. Uh, substitute it for hot sauce, and I now know that they have non-sugar ketchup. Someone asked, what do we do on vacation? When I book a vacation, I make sure there's a gym at the hotel. If there's no gym, I'm definitely doing my 10,000 steps on the beach or the sidewalk and getting to know the town. Um, uh, there's also, as you know, I'm a big fan of putting workouts on YouTube. I have a lot of exercises that don't require much equipment. For instance, guys, on Wednesdays, whoops, that's the wrong man. On Wednesdays, what do we do? Resistance. So on vacation, bring your resistance band with you. You can do chest work and back work and bicep work and glute work. So there's lots of things you can do without equipment on vacation. Another question that came in was they wanted a healthy, healthy choices for breakfast. So they didn't want to eat cereal because that's, that's not great for weight loss. The grains, the oatmeal, no. Eggs. Eggs are a great breakfast. They are done very quickly. Hard boiled eggs, you can do them the night before if you don't have time. Mom and I do egg bakes. We, we get a muffin tin and we wrap it with either ham or bacon. Crack it an egg and there we have our egg bakes. You bake them at 350, you're good to go for the week. Um, leftovers are a great breakfast idea. Cottage cheese is also a great substitution in for breakfast. And if you want to do a protein shake, make sure you're not loading it with tons and tons of fruit and making it a high sugar start to your day. All right, someone asked me, how do you stay motivated? And how you stay motivated is to move your body. You know how you feel about once you start moving your body. You start to feel better. Your joints start to get lubricated. And what also happens is that you increase that oxygen and you start to become energized. So the motivation to move often happens once you start moving. And the great thing with QB, it's right there underneath your feet. All right, someone also asked, suggest foods to height fight inflammation. Well, I'm gonna let you know, it's your grains and sugars. You stay away from grains and sugars, your knees will feel better, your ankles will feel better, your joints will feel better. Um, what else did we get? So, um, again, substitute your rice for that cauliflower. Uh, there's so many great recipes that don't use a traditional flour. Look at using almond flour and coconut flour. And in two minutes, guys, we are going to announce the winners of the QB t-shirt. And the QB t-shirts are going to be able to be bought very, very soon. You can order your own QB t-shirt. So I want you, if you're at weight loss, if you want to be successful like my mom, 10,000 steps a day, doing her weight, doing the resistance band, uh, minimizing on the grains and the sugars, only eating when hungry, and um, again, it helped, it helped her with her weight loss, 
Uh, the cube, cubing your food, like you work on your cubie. Looking at the sugar content can help a lot. What? If I'm hungry, I brush my teeth. Right. So it's so nice. Minty mouth, yeah. and yeah, sometimes that helps as well. Joe, yes, nightshade vegetables can also help uh, taking out the inflammation. All right, guys, I know all of you registered to join us tonight uh, to celebrate Gloria and to find out what did she do to lose those 20 pounds. Um, and again, if you have other questions, don't hesitate to send me a, a line. But I'm going to announce the winners of the t-shirts. And they are Vanita uh, Sontag, Michelle Bello, and Valerie Mudd. So these are the winners of the t-shirt. So congratulations on uh, winning a CUNY t-shirt. Uh, but I want to, look at the sweat tonight, guys. <laughs> I want to stress they are going to be available and if you have any other questions about Gloria's journey, uh, yeah congratulations Benita, um, don't hesitate to ask, I'm happy to answer and share and a good bowl of soup also keeps you oh, satisfied, yeah. right, a good bowl of soup, homemade soup. Um, and I've taught my mom to use salsa in everything. Right. <laughs> salsa is so great. Low calories and healthy. Thank you for joining us tonight, guys, as we launch off Choose to Bloom for the month of April. You guys are blooming strong, fit. And mom and I will see you next Monday night. Have a great week.